UCLA ranked 14th in the country wins the 2016 Wooden Legacy by defeating Texas A&M in the championship game 74 to 67. And welcome everybody to Anaheim, California, along with Sean Farnham, I'm Doug Sherman. The championship game lived up to what we expected, the event as well as we expected. A lot of good play. Yeah, a lot of good play in competitive basketball. The first round matchup between Dayton and Nebraska. You know, for Nebraska, they were looking for a win against a tournament team, and they were able to control that game because of Glenn Watson and Ty Webster. Then you look at Virginia Tech, how unselfish they are, how they shoot the ball from the outside. Justin Robinson and his emergence for them. I think when you look at the two teams that played for the championship game, though, what stood out most to me was talented freshmen. Robert Williams, this was his coming out party for Texas A&M. And for UCLA, there is no doubt. The Bruins, they go like Lonzo Ball goes. And the good news is this, he's spectacular. He has outstanding awareness of where his teammates are. In moments when they fell behind, he asserted himself offensively. He has NBA range. He can drive down the middle of the lane. A little step back here, they gave the Bruins a three-point lead and tournament MVP was Lonzo Ball and it's good because this will be the only event that he plays in in the non-conference for a tournament because he's gone. He's a one and dunner so he'll be done at the end of this year but he came here in a tournament with John Wooden's name on it and the big question for UCLA is could they defend to win a game and they did not play at their tempo today but what they did was defend the basketball down the stretch and they strung together stop after stop after stop after Texas A&M had taken the lead, and that's why they won the event. After the championship game, our Jeff Goodman caught up with father and son, the Alfords, after winning the title. Steve, what did this mean for you to get this tournament title? Well, we needed a championship, and you, you don't get a lot of these opportunities. So to have an opportunity to get this, the, it's got Coach Wooden's name on it. It's right here in Anaheim. So that makes it extra special for our institution. And uh, we're proud to have that opportunity, and it was a great tournament. We've got to play a really good competition. And this team today, they're long, they're big, they're athletic, and they that's the biggest zone we've seen to date. So we'll learn from it, but uh, really proud of our guys how they competed. How much did it mean to do it with this guy and he didn't have the greatest game but he made the big shot when it mattered. Well I liked his patience um, you know the first half he only had two shots uh, as one of our shooting guards Isaac got it rolling and that's the special thing about this team they, they don't really don't care it's it is a sharing deal and there are going to be nights where all of a sudden he's not getting a lot of shots like tonight and Isaac's going to take over or Lonzo or Aaron these guards are special but down the stretch um, that's what he does he makes big plays he makes big shots and more than anything tonight I thought he did a great job with the leadership on the floor and that's what we needed. Thanks Steve appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. So Bryce you told me before the tournament began with your dad the highs are really high and the lows are really low. What's this like. This is big time uh, to be able to win a, a championship this early in the season. Uh, like I told you before the game, this, this isn't something that we've done before uh, since I've been here. So uh, to do that and to win a tournament that's got Coach Wooden's name on it, that's huge. How good can this team be? We're still early in the season. What's the ceiling for this group? I think the sky's the limit for us. Uh, we we did, did a lot of good things in this tournament, but we got a long way to go. And that, I think that's the that's the encouraging part is uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, improvements in a lot of areas. So as long as we keep going and keep working and pushing each other in practice, we're going to be good. What did you learn about the team defensively this week? Uh, that, we're, that we're fighting. We're learning to fight. Uh, last year we, we really struggled with that. You know, somebody hit us in the face. Uh, we didn't hit. We didn't uh, do do anything about it. And uh, this year uh, we got hit in the face to start this game. Championship game. Start off not making any shots, and they come out on on a big run to start the game. And uh, we fought, fought and clawed our way back uh, to get a lead by halftime. That's what we do. Thanks, Bryce. Congrats. Thank you. The UCLA wins the 2016 Wooden Legacy. Here's a look at the field for next year. Now some great teams, some good programs. San Diego State and the show will come on up. That's their student section. St. Mary's, one of the most best efficient offenses in the country. Georgia has a lot of good pieces as well. That's going to be a very competitive field. Not only will they come out here to enjoy the Wooden Legacy, but they'll also enjoy their time at Disneyland. That'll do it for the 2016 Wooden Legacy. The freshman point guard from UCLA, Lonzo Ball, tournament MVP. For Sean Farnham and Jeff Goodman, I'm Doug Sherman saying so long from Anaheim, California.